Welcome back to the show. Now, the days of staying loyal to your local supermarket are gone. Shoppers are becoming incredibly discerning and it's putting pressure on the big chains to compete for the business. The latest campaign of the supermarket wars sees Woolies overhauling its home brand packaging. It's a bit to win over Aldi shoppers, but will the strategy work? Now, let's bring in our Masters of Spin advertising gurus, Jane Carey and Dan Gregory. Now, Jane, why is Woolies focusing on their home brand? Well, because it's about time. It looks pretty sad. Uh, and also because they're obviously not selling as much of it as they used to. That's what tends mm -hmm. to concentrate and marketers' mind uh, when sales fall. And they are recognising that people don't want to buy something which they don't want someone to open their kitchen cupboards and see is full of. And that is the problem with things like home brand. You don't show them off. Sure. You know what I mean? Is, is there They're not a certain pride on the part of some shoppers in not purchasing what are considered to be the fancy products there to show is. that they are down to earth people? There is that, but I think the major problem with the home brands at the moment is people think they look that daggy, they must taste that daggy. Right, That's yeah. the problem. Now, Dan, um, you know, just quick disclaimer, you, you were involved in the rebranding of Aldi, to mm -hmm. a certain degree yep. anyway, it, but research shows that many shoppers, you know, make purchases based on packaging rather than actual contents. Sure. Um, with Aldi, what was the... Did they, did they realise they had a problem or had they always gone for a sort of yeah, classy packaging? No, but there's, there's a few things going on with Aldi. So Aldi's, you know, it's a little bit German, a little bit crazy, you know, we've got the fresh food, we've got the motorbike and we've got a gallon drum of chlorine and so what happens is you've got a different expectation when you go into Aldi so you're not finding brands that you grew up with you're not finding the Arnott's you're not finding the Omos you're finding other brands so you're already in a place where you're not exposed to the kind of brands you're used to right. and that gives them a real opportunity to develop their own brands to actually you know improve or, or premiumize some of their fresh food offering mm -hmm. as well which is kind of the psychological benchmark for a supermarket so it's about that expectation thing whereas when you go into Woolworths you expect to see the brands you grew up with oh, yeah yeah sure sure I always thought that was the point of the packaging it was because it was trying to pitch it as the cheap option so you were saving bucks and it is and it worked for a while but the problem is, it's not working so well anymore. Mm. Partly because all the, all the supermarkets are competing on price anyway. Mm. So people now have a lot of choices on price. Mm. And the problem is, if all you're doing is competing on price, then you become the victim of who's got sure. the lowest price. Yep. You've got no loyal customers anymore. And I think that Woolworths are actually trying to build some brand loyalty into yeah. their home brands rather than just being the cheapest alternative. But I think that's the problem with, you know, when I go to Woolworths, I expect to find, you know, the biscuits I like and the tea mm. I like mm. to dunk it in. Mm. And you actually, you actually see on consumer forums where they start delisting mm. popular products oh, yes. and just selling mm. their own. And it makes I people angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that too. Yeah, 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 I that's hate tricky. that too. You, I have, you know, you, you think of premium products. So if you're buying a bottle of uh, red wine, for example, okay, you want the label to reflect the fact that the contents of that bottle are going to be sumptuous. You know, they're going to be luxurious. You want a label that suggests all of that. But honestly, you're buying sugar. Have we become such merchant bankers, that's rhyming slang, um, that we want our sugar to look good? We elected one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think yes, we do. A a appeal of packaging is really important. Some people will say exactly what you said, no, 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 absolutely not, I'm not going to do it. But in fact, you find that that attracts people and if it's got a nice look, then that they buy it. But the point is, the supermarkets are trying to own both the um, method of, of distribution yep. and production yeah. and therefore yeah. get the money yeah. all the way through. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. OK, thank you guys for coming in and chatting with us. <laughs> well, I'm, up... not e I'm not eating a, a tig tag. No. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going for the Tim Tag. Coming up yeah. on Weekend Sunrise. <laughs> Finding friends, how can you rebuild your social life in a new neighbourhood? We're going to meet the woman who's mastered the move.